It's 1 a.m. and I'm recording another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda. Welcome back. My name is Jonathan, and this is Couch Chronicles. I'm hoping to make some real progress tonight. Get to a new planet, maybe. I don't know what's ahead. I haven't played ahead in this game, but hoping to get something done. I went the wrong way. Oh, Kara. Hi. Um. Habitation deck. Cryo Bay? I think it's telling me to go to the Cryo Bay. Is that what it's telling me to do? Maybe I should check and see actually where I'm supposed to be going. Um. So, I don't know if any of you guys are content creators. I, I don't know. Oh. It was telling me to go to the cryo bay, because now I need to go to the docking bay. <sighs> I wish you, you could just pick any of these locations from anywhere, but I guess you can't. This looks... I hear it's something special. ...personal. How's the ship? Let's see what happens. Looking great. Mm. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're I hope so. We used to call that tactical improvisation. But mm. at least we'll be doing it in style. <laughs> it's less like flying, and more like falling style. They call her the Tempest. The Tempest. Yay! Oh, I get to meet the Tempest. Oh, you're so pretty. Hi. Look at you. Look at you with your copper-lined beautifulness. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> I hope. I hope it lives up to the Normandy standard. Because that was a beautiful ship. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. <laughs> You got your arms cocked back in a weird way there. Hello. Vetra. Vetra oh, Vetra. Wrangler, provisioner, gunner, and everything in between. Yeah, I've seen fun things about you. Good to meet you. You're coming with us. I hope so. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Uh, what's wrong? What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Makes sense. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Vetra looks like she's floating. I think she is. Equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull mm. some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? That is sketchy. Yeah. Yeah. Vetra, I don't like that. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I, mm. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Done. Uh, I guess. Part of the job, Pathfinder. I feel bad about it, but things considered it was an easy ask. Whatever. Right now, you, need you shouldn't take advantage of empathy. Goal. Empathy is kind of a sacred thing. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. I guess that is nice, though. Hey, initiated. Achievement get. Um, but yeah, I'm very tired. I'm, I'm really just trying to get ahead on uploads. Um, if you create on YouTube, then you have seen that you can schedule videos being published ahead of time, which is nice. Glad to see you're doing well, too. Um, so I'm trying to get as many out as I can. I've done... I've done multiple recordings per day, so... And editing and etc. Equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. 
securing connection to Tempest. Well, Louder engaged? I hope that that's something more complicated than home networking. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Ah. Uh, this will be an adventure. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, <laughs> head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. The innuendo, knowing that you can romance her character, is strong. Oh, well, you haven't seen the best part. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make it really is a pretty ship, isn't it? Just get the crew together. We call this the research make room. calls from the central table. The from here. Looks like the central table's downstairs. Hello. This console reports on the malicious current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion. Hello, Liam. To participate. Seems like we're forever. Sam, shut up. up. But there's always time to check out new toys, useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grab from Habitat Seven. Raw minerals, tech doesn't matter. Your research station will strip that stuff down. Give you options. Oh, nice. I'll take any advantage I can get, even if it's exploring junk. Hey, with tech like this, yeah. it won't be junk for long. Not after work through. If the best we get is what we make, it's still the best. Check it out. It would be nice if he would turn around to talk to you. That'd be good. Um, let's see, R&D terminal. Select research to unlock new blueprints and augmentations using the research data RD required. Select development to craft new items and upgrades. Let's check out research. Uh, weapons. Spend research data earned. I have none, so I'll wait until later to check that out. Development. I guess I can build some rifles and pistols and stuff. Uh, use your keyboard to enter text. That's fine. I'll just keep that name. Um, M8 Avenger developed successfully and added to your inventory. Yes. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Armor. Helmet. Uh, Maverick Skirmisher Helmet. Mm, I don't have the materials needed for it. Don't have the materials needed for that. Or that. Or anything. <laughs> uh, I really like the way that looks, though. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. There we go. Go this way. Through here? Oh, cutscene. There are a lot of cutscenes. What are you, uh... Oh, your control center. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time Yay. for introductions. You must be Ryder, Kylo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. Kylo Jaff. I'll be piloting the Tempest at Good to meet you too, Master Jaff. But it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Um, still learning the ropes. be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test piloting oh, the good. Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. I hope she does. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It nice. For a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? Crossing galaxies was big, too. That is true, even though we were asleep for all of it. And most of us are dead. Excuse me. But that's fine. Excuse me. Command access is 
transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. I love her accent. The drive is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Um, 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 what if the Nexus is best hope? Keep you dreaming of a home. The world. Sounds well, right. Just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to deploy. Love it. Oh, this is so epic. Yes. Ooh, that slight swivel. I really do love the way that the Solarians are designed. Like, they're so slim. They look like Mr. Incredible. Not Mr. Incredible or Mr. Fantastic. Stretchy guy. Oh, hello. A Pfeiffer? Pfeiffer? Uh... Eric's son? <laughs> Two S's. Eric's son. Um, Pythias. A better beginning. Eos. Uh, let's do some... Let's do some monitoring. See if we can't find some material. Hey! This is pretty. Yes. That is not what greater than light speed would look like. Yeah, it's checked out. Black hole right over there. That's a little intense. Uh, hello? Okay, so let's check out H480. Uh, use LS while holding left trigger to scan for the anomaly's location. Okay. Probably not the best idea to fly straight through. Oh, I love the black hole relativity effect. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. Mm. There's supposed to be... Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's giving me pointers as to where to look for this anomaly that they're talking about think uh, what is going on here ooh ooh that bendiness I love it oh love it um I'm a I'm a bit of a physics dweeb so I love um looking at black holes and just knowing that they got a little bit, even just a little bit of the fact that it bends light well. That's awesome. Uh, so the anomaly is over. I guess it's that shiny thing. Alright, cool. Uh, deploy probe. Let's check it out. I guess you're gonna swivel away. Nice. This is gorgeous. Space. The final frontier. How would you pick up such a tiny rock? I mean, it's like, I mean, it really is like super huge, but nonetheless. Comparatively, a tiny rock. Dude, I'm such a... I'm such a space dweeb. Oh, I want it. The Tempest would be taking, like, massive damage right now. Just from running into tiny bits of dust. I don't know if y'all are much into space, but, like... If your ship runs into dust, it's a bad day. This is so pretty. Doesn't look like there's any water on there. Uh, 
gorgeous. I'm not quite sure how to use that scanner. Oh, hello. You're right there. Okay. Korvath. Um, let's see. System view. Keep heading to new planets that we haven't seen yet. I don't know if this is exciting for you guys, but I couldn't be more stoked. Like, the um, space between objects is totally unrealistic. If you were ever this close to a black hole, you would get sucked right into it. Um, but, uh, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Mm. I want to actually find something on one of these planets. Uh, oh, I'm not sure that I can. This is, let's, let's back out. Let's see about getting to Eos. Once we get there, I might, I might cut it off a little early. Depending on what's happening. Ow! I popped my thumb. It's just so beautiful. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative. Yeah, that is not what travel past the speed of light would look like. I don't know when I'll show them we got clobbered. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Okay. I can do that, Sam. Thank you for the recommendation. Oh, it's got a moon! A little Sammy moon. It'd be way further away than that, but that's fine. Things not being quite to scale is alright, I guess. Is that possible? Ooh. We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Exit confirmation. Do you wish to disembark the Tempest? Heck, to the freaking yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll be all right. Ready, Freddy. Integrating search area. Love it. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms? I have no idea. Multisensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. He's good at it. They're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What is that? What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. What is going on? I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead, they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Sorry. You okay? It's my job as new Pathfinder. The uncertainty ends I've with us. Track. I'm up for the adventure. We can do this. You did That's seem a little overwhelmed here. Out. We're good. Nice. His hand definitely has some issues. He's gonna want to get that checked out. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've wanted someone to talk to me with that accent. Mm. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? <laughs> It's never a confident thing when the captain of a ship says, We'll be okay. Right? If he's unsure of himself, that's never a good sign. Hmm. 
<laughs> I am very tired. I've got a headache too. I don't know if y'all have seen it, but this ship kind of reminds me of the time machine from uh, 6969. Dan Avedon, you have a way with words. That's all I've got to say. That are contaminated by radiation from the scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards. Okay, deadly storms. Plus, no pathfinder. If EO is like habitat, okay. That signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. The door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self organizes and sets huh. its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. All right. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. <laughs> they didn't have a Sam, you're so sassy. Yeah. We'll make EO's own. Don't speak too soon there. Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. It's a data pad. Yay. That's good. We suffered our first death. Uh, audio log. Oh, that's no fun. Cora just knocking over chairs and stuff. Hmm. It stinks. Yeah, it would suck to wake up thinking you're going to be in a dream world, and then realizing your husband is dead. That would not be fun. You can definitely sympathize with that. Can't empathize with it, but I can sympathize with it. Hello, other door. I should be able to open you now. Okay, restore power to site one. It's a container. Item pickup. Get them all. I tend not to really pay attention to what I'm picking up. I just get it and I wait to figure it out one until I'm at the ship. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Maybe something's blocking the power. A remote log is up. Uh inventory. Armor. Uh let's see. How can I change it so that I'm not wearing my helmet all the time? I definitely prefer that. I don't know, I'll figure it out later. Yeah. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. Makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation. Our suits protect against that, right? Site one contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside site one's perimeter, that would not be advised. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm on the tempest. I'm just running all over it. This is nice. Other Mass Effect games would stop you from doing something like this. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment. We didn't expect this kind mm. of environment. Who could? Um, you should always plan for the worst. Hope for the best. Plan for the worst. Old army saying, worth having. They don't knock. There are people here. We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Oh. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. Mm, here to help. Fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. No. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Kedra patrolling today. You 
turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. Leave the cat to me. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger? It's on you. Expect trouble. <laughs> you want to uh, poke the tiger? <laughs> Is that something you want to do? Um, I'm going to leave the rest of this for the next episode. We are at 26 minutes now. So, um, I'm looking forward to getting it done. But, I've had a good time. Looking forward to getting into the rest of this game. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have advice to give or something to say or anything like that. Um, I would love to hear from you. And get subscribed if you're not. Looking forward to having you be a part of the Couch Chroniclers crew. See you next time.